Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Chaser TO. Today we're going to be doing a swing card tutorial. So you can find the template and written instructions on my website at paperchaser.to. So once you have your templates cut out and your cardstock chosen, we're going to cut uh, the card base out from the cardstock. So I'm going to tape the template down and then I'm going to start cutting with my corked back ruler and my exacto knife on the inside red lines. Once you have your inside lines cut, cut the outside red lines. Once you have that done, score along the gray lines. Remove your template sheet and you're left with your cut and scored cardstock. Now fold along the scored lines. Give your card a test swing. Right now you can leave the card as is or you can decorate it with some mat. This also strengthens the card. Use whatever type of adhesive you'd like to attach the decorative mats to the card base. Here I'm using a dry adhesive with my ATG gun. Try using cardstock that are high in contrast with one another. When it's folded up, the two cardstock patterns will look poppin'. This card is pretty simple to do. The hardest part is probably just cutting out all of the small pieces, but other than that, Gluing it all together is really quick. Since this card holds two photos, it's perfect for your scrapbooks and mini albums. If you make this card, I would love to see it. Tag me on social media at paperchaserto. Thank you for checking out this tutorial and thank you for watching Paper Chaser video. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers, which I am so appreciative of. Until next time, happy crafting!